stampers I've got a card for you today and I'm going to use this silhouette image and we're going to give it a bit of movement by adding some um, shadows here that uh, reflect that he's actually moving so um, <laughs> this is this is a card for a juvenile male and I think those are the hardest cards ever to create it seems like stamps aren't created just for that um, specific group so um, I was ecstatic when we seen this because this is uh, perfect for a juvenile male um, or female what we're going to be using is a stamp bundle this is greatest journey from Stampin up and this stamp set is wonderful and it comes with a fabulous new die set too and this has so many images that are in, in addition to pieces that cut out these. Um, you also have these standalone images. We have one um, guy on a bike. I've got a runner, tents, clouds, um, a hiker. And they're all just great to create outdoor scenes. So we're going to start with this one here. And I'm going to start um, by die cutting my die out. And I use that BMX biker. It took me a minute to figure out if it was a bike or a dirt bike. And I decided it was a bike since it was all open in here. So um, I can tell he has a helmet on or she does. But I think it's a bicycle. So we're going to be using that. I die cut it out of basic black. And then I'm going to keep this negative one and we're going to be using that to create our motion in our scene. So we're going to set those aside for just a moment. And I'm going to pull out a basic white panel. This is three and three quarters square. All the dimensions for this card are down below this video. Just click show more and you'll see them all there along with all of links to the products that I used. So we're going to do some direct to paper right off the bat and I'm going to start with a little bit of pumpkin pie and when I do direct to paper I'm using the short end of the ink pad and then I'm going to hold it at an angle. I don't want it flat else it'll ju you'll just have one big blob of color. So we want to do this lightly and just use the edge and I'm just going to lightly drag this across my panel here and you can do it at the bottom. And I'm just going to add some of this color lightly here and there. There we go. And we have it all kind of covered. There's plenty of white showing through, just what we want. Next we're going to go to Cajun Craze. And we're going to do direct to paper with this also. And we're going to add some like light hills here. I'm going to put one here. And then I'm going to put one there. I'm using that same edge and I'm doing this lightly. I just wanted some hills in the background like he has plenty of road to work on um, as he's BMX bike. Next I'm going to go to soft suede and I'm going to turn my paper this way and I'm going to add a hill here at the bottom. Now I'm pressing a little harder because I wanted a nice dark hill that would cover that um, Cajun craze there. So there's our hill that he'll be on, his bike will be on. Okay, so we're moving right along here. And I want to put a sun up here in the corner. So I'm going to bring in some So Saffron. And I'm going to use a blending brush for this. And I'm just going to add like a spot of color up here with this So Saffron. and a blending brush and then I'm going to take it has a sun stamp in the in the greatest journey stamp set and we're going to be using that I'm just going to load it up with some so saffron I'm going to stamp it up here in that spot that we created and this will just add a little bit more color there it looks hazy here because we brushed some color on and then we stamped the color too so there's our sun 
And I think I want to, at this point, look at your scene. Is it dark enough? I think I want some more of that pumpkin pie in my sky area. You can always go back in and add a little bit more. So always start out light. So I think I want some more of that in here. There we go. That's a little darker. That makes me a little more happier. Because I want it to kind of look like the sunset. I just didn't put so much that you can't see your sun there any longer. So keep that in mind when you're darkening that up there. Okay, so we're going to get some Memento Tuxedo Black out here. And I'm, there's a dotted stamp in the Greatest Journey stamp set, and we're going to use that. And I'm going to add some dots here in the ground. Um, this is kind of stars, checks, dots. Whatever, I just wanted to make it, the ground look a little more um, realistic just by adding some tones there. And that was Memento Tuxedo Black, and I'm also going to bring in this grass stamp. And I'm using that same black. And I'm going to add some of this here. And I think I'm going to stamp it a couple times here too. Now I'm not stamping the whole image, I only stamped part of it, like the top of the grasses. Because I didn't want it to be so tall it would interfere with the scene. So um, I just have them at the bottom. Okay, so there was our black. And that is all the stamping we're going to do for this uh, main panel here. So I'm going to go ahead and start with our little bicycle. So I know I want him looking like he's um, popping a wheelie here. It's getting daring, right? So I know I'm going to put him about here. And I have this negative from our scene here. And so I want to put this on here too, like he's popping a wheelie. And I'm going to put it like right there because um, when I put this on, it's going to be a little more forward than this image that we're getting ready to um, brush in here. So I'm going to bring back our, our, I'm going to bring in some Cajun craze for this first one. I want it to be nice and dark. So I'm using a blending brush. And I'm going to add this all in this image here. So there is that one. Okay. Don't worry that you can't see, you know, all the detail in there. That's fine. We're going to put this on here again. And I'm just kind of lining it up like a fourth of an inch behind the one I just put on. Maybe down just a bit lower than what it is because we want it to look like he's going up a bit. And I'm going to put this in with pumpkin pie. Again with a blending brush. And I'm really just concentrating more on this back part here, this light part on the back. I'm not so much the front of this bike or anything, just the back part so that you have this double image here. So see how you have two images? And I didn't worry about bringing it out here in the front, just the back part. And then when you put this on, it's going to look like he is in motion. So I'm going to add that. I'm just going to use my multi-purpose glue here. I'm just going to lightly put it on here and there. I don't want it gushing out 
anything like that. So just a little bit, a little bit goes a long way on this, huh? All right. So there is our bicyclist. He's all on there and he's in motion. How fun is that? So that's our, our main panel. That's all done. And I'm going to back this with a basic black panel that's three and seven eighths square. Okay, so that's finished. I'm just going to put that aside and I'm going to bring out a panel. This is crumb cake and it is 4 by 5.25 and I'm going to stamp it with a background stamp and the background stamp I'm using is this dry brush stamp I wanted to bring in like some browns just because he's out in the dirt bicycling so I've got crumb cake here and I'm going to stamp it with uh, soft suede I'm just going to load this stamp up and I'm patting, I'm actually patting the stamp on top of the rubber stamp. That's how I like to ink my big old background stamps. And I'm going to flip it over. This is not wide enough to go clear across the panel the direction that I want it to. I want all these lines to go this way and not this way. So I'm just stamping it here. I'm going to take this off. And I'm going to ink this stamp back up. And I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to stamp the rest of this panel. I'm just going to overlap it a bit. There we go. I'll put that stamp away. And that is our background panel that is done. And I'm not worried about this line here because we're covering that up um, more or less with our other panels. I'm going to flip this scrap paper over. I don't want to get ink where I don't want it. And I have a card base here that's a mango melody and it's five and a half by eight and a half ignore my stamp here I stamped it in the wrong spot so, but it's going to be covered up and I folded it in half to create my quarter card and then this is going to go on the front here going to center that up there on the front. Okay. Then I have a strip of cardstock and this is two inch by five inch and I'm going to put it here in the middle. It's just basic black. Give it a look here. I think that's good. All right, and now we just need our main panel. I'm going to adhere this onto. You can pop this up if you want to, but I like it just as well. Not popped up. There we go. And now I have two little strips of paper. And these are Mango Melody. And these are 1 fourth inch by 1 inch. And I'm going to adhere these to the card front also. Just kind of centering them up here. Give that a look. Bring it down. Okay, that's one side, and then I've got one for the other side. I'm 
I don't know, I think with boys I just forsake the ribbon and just add little doodads of cardstock, like uh, geometric shapes. Okay, so we have those on there. And now I want to put just an embellishment on. And I have some matte black dots. I'm just using the small ones here. And I'm just going to add one to each of these little mango strips that we put on here. And there is our card front all finished. Okay, so and for the inside I just wanted to coordinate. So I have a crumb cake panel that's three and three quarters by five and a basic black panel that's four by five point two five. And I'm just going to layer these up and put them on the inside. Let's add some love in here. go this could be a congratulations card for something that the boy has achieved or um, a birthday or even a thank you you grandmas out there did you get presents from your grandkids um, there we have it what do you think do you are you really good at making male juvenile cards? If you are, maybe you can give me some ideas. Put that down in the comments, please. Um, so we're all finished with today's card. Here's my original. And I hope you like this project and that you give it a try. Thanks for joining me today. Take care. Bye.